While the return of electric force is an experience so many have been looking forward to, it's a solemn anniversary for one Michigan family. That's because it's been almost five years since concert goer Kevin Graves went missing. To this day, that family is still holding out hope for some sort of closure. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez joins us live here in the studio. Trevier, the family is doing something new this year to keep the memory of Graves alive. Yeah, Jay, that's right. For those making their way to Electric Force, this billboard is out in the open for drivers to see. Now, the family of Graves is asking anyone with information to call the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. Now, it was back in July of 2018 when it was announced that Kevin Graves went missing. It was the, his first time going to Electric Force in Rothbury over in Oceana County. At one point, the investigation was handled by Michigan State's police's Heart Post, which is just north of Rothbury, but it's since been turned over to the Oakland County Sheriff's Office near Detroit. We're told that's where Kevin was living with his girlfriend. Now, we spoke with Kevin Graves' father, who says he's frustrated with the lack of answers, but above all else, him and his wife are just hoping to one day be reunited with their son. All I know is my wife and my family would love to have Kevin back because he was a good kid. He just did the wrong thing up there. Uh, something happened. I can't believe that he just disappeared and went with uh, a group of people or somebody else because his mother heard from him every single day. Gary, the father there, adds that the pain is not getting of not getting any answers has been especially tough for Kevin's mother. And as you might have heard there, the family has not given up hope that Kevin is still in alive. In fact, his last point he wanted to make in that interview was a direct message to Kevin. If you're out there, please give mom or dad a call. Trevor Gonzalez, 13 on your side. Thanks, Trevier. And once again, if you have any information at all, you're asked to call the Oakland County Sheriff's Department at the number there on your screen. We'll also have that contact information on our website, 13onyourside.com.